so again guys we are in uh, Edmonton Alberta and um, if you guys are looking for driving lessons in uh, Edmonton uh, you guys see the number on the screen you can uh, call this number you can also send a text message and uh, my name is Carlos so you ask for Carlos and uh, yes. I'll be able to help you out now another thing my deep that is important that we teach beginner drivers is that uh, Whenever you brake it, you should always check the rear view mirror, uh, okay. just to you know to be sure to see who's coming behind you. If they're really stopping, if they're approaching too fast, you may be able to move forward enough to avoid being rear-ended. So it's always a good habit to have is to check your speed. I'm sorry, your mirror. Yes. While you're braking, and you should be checking your mirror. You know, every eight seconds or so, you should be looking in your mirror to see what's going on behind you. That's a very yeah. good tip. Yes. The more aware of your surroundings when you're driving, the better off you are. That's okay. what we call being proactive. Okay, good. Okay, so we'll be making a left turn at the these traffic lights coming up here. Okay. Yeah, so... So I will get in the left lane. In the left turning lane, correct. Okay. Now, shoulder uh, check, do I yes. need to do it here? Or is that Yes, yeah, so you have to, you oh, have to. I have to. Okay. Even though, um, especially in summer driving, because you can have a smaller vehicle trying to get in between you and the, you okay. know, the space that is open there, it could be a motorcycle, bicycle, things like that. Also, it's very important that when you come to a turning lane, that you get in the turning lane as soon as you get to the turning lane. Don't wait until you're halfway down the road before you get into the turning lane, because if you're on a busy, time of the day what's going to happen is other vehicles are going to get behind you they're going to get into the turning lane and then you're going to be blocked you won't be able to change lanes to get into the turning lane so you should get into the turning lane as soon as the turning lane starts okay sounds good now i see a green arrow so that means i'm good to go yes okay. and i go in the first lane in the nearest lane first yeah the, first the, available lane. first available lane to you okay and that will be the uh, the most uh, left lane on your side of the road. Okay. So now I see a red light coming up. So I'm slowing down. And checking. Looking quick for. Quick check on your mirror. Quick check on my mirror. Yes. Looking for stop line, mm -hmm. complete stop before the stop line. That is correct. That's very important, Mandeep, is that to stop before the stop line. The stop yes. line is there for a reason. Uh, all the markings on the road are there for a reason. You know, they're not there, you know, for, um, you know, decoration. <laughs> they have <laughs> they have a meaning, right? Yes. Stop line is to protect pedestrians that are crossing, right? That's the stop line is before the crosswalk. That's the, the meaning of a stop line is to protect pedestrians and not to interfere with the crosswalk. So, by law, you should stop before the stop line. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> and if I, in the driving test, if I go over the stop line, that will be a mistake? Yes, that will be a mistake. It won't be a critical mistake, but it will be a mistake. Um, you know, it will cost you the merits against. Um, so, yes, it will will be a you'll be you know it'll be it'll yeah. cost you the merits. so don't do yes. it don't yes. yeah well you know it's it's like i said there's good reasons behind the, the rules right and the regulations uh, yes it's to protect us to protect the other drivers on the road uh it's to keep us safe to keep us away from each other yes you know um you know from conflicting whether it's pedestrians and, and, and vehicles or vehicles and vehicles <clears throat> Even though you have a green light, Mandeep, it's always a good idea to, you know, do a quick check before you go through the intersection. Okay. Uh, you want to look left, center, right, you know, uh, quickly, just to make sure. Not because you have a green light, it means that you have the right of way. The right of way is given, not yes. taken. So, you know, if somebody does, decides to go through a red light, there's not much you can do about it. So, if he can avoid a collision, it's everybody's responsibility, right, to yes. avoid a collision. So I see a speed limit sign on the left hand side, 50 maximum. And I'm doing about 45 here. 
Green light. So you notice that was kind of a sharp curve, right? Yes. Yeah. So another green light here. Looking at my speed. So you want to look at your speed every couple seconds, right? Just yes. To make sure every three seconds, every you know. Three seconds. Yeah, every three seconds, I thought, you know, uh, check your speed. Then you can control your speed. You will never be able to feel. Some people say, uh, oh, with over time, you know, with experience, you'll be able to feel the speed. That's not true. Okay. That never happens. I've been driving for many, many years. I can never feel the speed. Mm -hmm. I have to look at my speedometer to be able to tell exactly the speed yes. that, that, that I'm doing. Um, especially when you come out of a, of a high speed highway onto a city road and it goes down from 100 to 60, trust me, you're not going to be able to tell, you know, you need to look at your speedometer. Yes. So you can never really feel the speed. You know, you have to check your speedometer off and that's the only way you're going to be able to control your speed. Okay, sounds good.